Forget Valentine's <laughs> Day, though. For local fishermen, their hearts were on the lake. That's right, Mark, but no chocolates, no flowers. Today, all about spears and, well, you know. And talking about that cold, for those finding success during Saturday's opener, who had to brave the elements, of course, to do it, our Justin Felder saw plenty of happy, if chilly, spears on the Upper River Lakes. Oh, Corey, we might have a small one on. Bill Merkel was beating himself up over a Saturday morning missed opportunity on Lake Poygan until... We got a game pump. This one came in right to the decoy right in the middle of the hole and made the shot and... Nope. Merkel is one of the people with a story to tell at Critters in Winnicani, but the story of the day single digit temps wind chills as low as 20 below yeah i wouldn't want to be uh anywhere out there if you weren't in a shack it was a whiteout you really couldn't see much really yeah. bad yeah, yeah it was that bad the wind was blowing and yeah you couldn't see much oh, yeah. with the blustery beginning to the season spears spectators and even media members were left ducking for cover as soon as possible is that one good great I mean, my fish froze within 10 minutes of getting it out of the shack, so it was, it was, it was nasty. That meant business was good inside Wood Eyes Bar and Grill in Winnicani, except for these guys, you know. Cold or not, spears roll on, especially on the upriver lakes, where last year the season lasted just three days. When I got up at 4.30 this morning, I thought, I want to stay in bed. <laughs> you just got to go. I felt confident today. I told everybody that we will be partying at Wood Eyes because I had a feeling I was going to get one today. His feeling was right, even if it meant losing feeling in some extremities for a little while out in the cold. In Winnicott, Justin Felder, Fox 11 Sports. Thanks, Justin. Did look cold out there. Here are the day one numbers according to the DNR. The 467 fish speared on Lake Winnebago are the fifth most since 2002. About 100 more than the average, so that's pretty good. The biggest sturgeon, a big one coming in at 127.3 pounds. That was registered at Payne's Point. A little bit slower on the upriver lakes. The 126 fish are the second fewest since the lottery system started back in 2007. DNR spokesman Ryan Koenig said they're at 91 adult females away from the 90% trigger, so predicting the season will last for about a few more days. Pretty good stuff. Well, coming up